Um, what if I told you that a popular theory with a critical, uh, popular theory accepted by the majority of the scientific world has a critical flaw in it that hin greatly hinders this theory from being true? And what if, um, and uh, what is this theory? It's called the Big Bang Theory. Okay, um, I've been a Christian. I've been a Christian for 13 years. Uh, that's my son. I've been a Christian for 13 years and uh, defender of the faith for three years. This is a subject matter that I have great uh, interest in. Um, I've been going to Liberty University, the largest Christian college in the world, for a year. Uh, I've got a GPA of 4.0 um, average. Okay. Um, my uh, desire is to uh, show you how the uh, the the law tell you about the law of conservation of angular momentum and its implications on the Big Bang Theory. All right. Basically, uh, just to go over the points real quick, I'm basically going to define central terms. Um, I'm going to tell you what the Big Bang Theory is and the uh, law of conservation of angular momentum. Then I'm going to show you examples like uh, uh, retrograde, which means reverse rotation of the uh, planets and uh, moons and a galaxy that's going backwards. Then I'm going to talk about the significance of this on us. Alright. Let's talk about essential terms. Okay. I got um, the Big Bang Theory, which is um, according to Dr. David A. DeWitt in Unraveling the Origin Controversy, page 144. The Big Bang is a descriptive secular model to explain how the universe began. According to this model, the entire universe, all the matter and all the energy, were in a single dimensionless point of essentially infinite density and temperature. For some unknown reason, about 13.7 billion years ago, the, this point began to expand. Basically, it says that this uh, dot, this little b dot, no bigger than a period of pain, singularity, Start spinning and expand. Some big bang theorists deny the spinning, but either way, whether you say that the singularity was spinning or when it expanded, everything starts spinning. The object of it is that everything is spinning, something that it has to be spinning the same direction. Okay. A lot of the examples I'll give you is uh, from our own solar system. All right. Next, I want to uh, define the conservation of angular momentum. All right. Uh, let's. Define it with a quote here from Merriam Dictionary, www.merriam.merriam-webster.com. Uh, uh, the Merriam according to Merriam Dictionary, the conservation of angular momentum is described as a principle in physics: the total angular momentum of a system free of external torque remains in retrospective of transformation and directions within the system. Uh, what does that mean? Basically, if something is spinning really, really fast and things protrude out from it. Whether it's an explosion, expansion, things got thrown out, whatever, everything should be staying in the same direction. That makes sense. Especially in a frictionless environment, which the space would be in when the dot expanded. Because there was no space, there was no universe, there was no matter. All the matter and energy concentrated in this little dot, according to the, the Big Bang Theory. Alright? But, um, uh, uh, the law of conservation of momentum can be described with. Ice skaters use the law of conservation of angular momentum all the time. They uh, uh, spinning with their partners or spinning more quickly. They let go, then they spin all in the same direction. Um, also, another good example is this miracle round. Uh, you got children on it. They're going really, really fast. Uh, usually, when the sample again, it's phase one, phase two, phase three. This picture, by the way, is from uh, free, uh, www.freechristian.com, freechristianteaching.com. All right, the bear around is spinning faster and faster and faster, and then the kids are hanging on like this, and then all of a sudden they uh, uh, fling off and they go in the same direction as the bear around. At least until they're stopped by a tree. <laughs> all right. Um, now we cover the uh, the um, the uh, the definitions. I would like to uh, talk about uh, examples and starting off with retrograde uh, planets. Retrograde rotation means reverse rotation, which means if everything's going one way, but this objects, these objects are going different way, then it's going in opposite direction. Um, uh, all right. Uh, good examples: uh, Uranus and Venus are both in retrograde rotation. Okay. 
um, they're spinning in opposite directions. Pluto is possibly spinning opposite direction, but they're not really sure. I mean, it's not really cool to play it, so I didn't use it as an example. Okay. But there's a possibility Pluto might be spinning in retrograde. Also, we have moons that are spinning in retrograde orbit, um, uh, such as Triton, for example. A quote by Dr. Dwayne Gish of the uh, Institute for Creation Research at www.icr.com says in his article, The Solar System, New Discoveries, Produce New Mysteries, says the five moons of Uranus move exactly in the equivalent plane of the planet, and they revolve in the same direction as the planet rotates. Their motion with respect to the remainder of the solar system is therefore retrograde orbits. Basically, they're going in the opposite direction. In fact, not only is there six moons in our solar system in retrograde, but there's also two moons going in all backwards uh, orbits. All the other moons go one way, two of them are going in the opposite direction. Alright? Um, another good example is the NGC Galaxy. This was actually caught by the Hubble Telescope. Okay, the Hubble Telescope saw uh, the NGC Galaxy and it's going backwards. It's spinning in the opposite direction. Again. Alright. Um, now, the final point, the significance on the Big Bang Theory is that the implication of the Big Bang Theory is that um, with everything should be spinning in the same direction, but it's not. So this is a serious hindrance to the Big Bang Theory. Alright? Um, so let's uh, summarize real quick. Alright? Um, Big Bang Theory, little dot, expand, everything go outward, spinning all in the same direction should be law of conservation magnetic momentum. Things aren't spinning backwards. Venus and Uranus are, are, are spinning the same way. Venus and Uranus spinning opposite direction. Um, Pluto, possibly Pluto, six moons are, two moons are spinning in complete different orbits. Um, so it's not in with that. All right. So, as you can see, as you can see, um, that's my son. As you can see, the uh, 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 this popular theory has a devastating flaw. It's a popular theory with a devastating flaw in it that totally hinders and puts the entire theory in question. Because if in order for the Big Bang theory to be correct, everything must have been formed the way it said it formed in the manner that it says. So as a result, it's not. So. This puts a huge question mark, I believe, on the Big Bang Theory. Alright, so, question and answer session. Anybody have any questions? Questions? Okay, well, what's your question? So if there's several moons going in, if there's two moons going in opposite orbit, right. how many moons are going in with the same orbit as the main theory? Well, I think there's like 30, I think uh, 30, uh, I think there's like 30 something moons or 50 something moons, something like that in the solar system. So most of them are going the right direction. That's why we know that they're retrograde. Another question, what about the moon that has a moon going around? What, what direction is the moon that has a moon? The, the moon that has a moon. Which way is the moon going on the other moon? Right. Probably the right way, because I think I would have seen that in my research, and I haven't seen it in my research. Do they both spin in the same direction, or does the... I think the moon that has the, the moon that has the moon spinning around it is that moon that's spinning around the other moon going in retrograde. I think I actually did uh, hear about uh, a moon that actually has a moon going around it, um, but I don't believe I read anything about it going in a retrograde orbit. Um, we have six moons that are in retrograde, and two of them are in opposite <laughs> orbits. Also, really intriguing. Okay. Here's the real question. Oh, hold on just for a second. The, the, here's the real question. Um, really and truthfully, it's not so much as why isn't there more things going in opposite direction. The real question is why there's even one island going in opposite direction. There shouldn't be none going in opposite direction. And why isn't our sun going faster? 
See, our sun only possesses 2% of the angular momentum of the solar system. It has 99% of the mass, but only 2% of the angular momentum. According to the law of conservation of angular momentum, it should be going much faster. Like an ice skater, whenever the ice skater spins and it goes around in a circle and stuff, and it's got its arm stretch, it goes so fast, but when it pulls everything in, it spins faster. Um, the sun ought to be spinning much faster than it is, but it's not. <coughs> All right, your question? I was going to have you say why your Uranus is on its side. side. Um, I don't think I ever read anything, whether it's an explanation or theory or hypothesis on that. I think it just, the way it got, it got But how did it get that way? Um, the Christian side to me would have to explain that it got created that way. The Big Bang Theorist um, would probably explain that, um, probably say that uh, it formed that way. But either way, regardless whether it's the, the creationist or the Big Bang answering the question, the object of it is that it was designed that way. Alright, uh, anyone else has any more questions? Alright, uh, in that case, I conclude uh, this presentation. And um, I hope this was very beneficial. Informative. Informative. Bye.